Hi there, thanks for joining me for uh, this video looking at how you can embed um, your voice or other audio recordings into a Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, for this I'm using Office 365 online through Glow. Um, you can obviously use desktop and app versions of PowerPoint as well, but in this version, um, just if you're looking for where the buttons and the icons are, um, I am using Office 365 online in Glow. Um, really useful to be able to add um, your voice. Um, this could be for instructional material for your learners. It might be more engaging for them to hear you explaining something. It might even be about a pronunciation or uncommon words. Um, <clears throat> but uh, also it could be really important for accessibility that some of your learners might need to hear um, the information rather than just seeing or reading it. So um, when we combine all of this as well with um, if you have a look at DigiLearn Scott, there's a section on there um, about dual coding and the fact that I've got an image um, which relates to the text and if I also then add some audio to that, I've then got audio, image and text and that, that multimodal text um, is, is far more engaging and accessible. Um, also with this, it means that your learners um, could use um, insert audio um, and adding their voices to their slides, um, which could be used for assessment evidence. So that could be their say assessment. So um, I've started with my slide here, um, just a, a basic slide with some text, um, a, a link and an image added to it. And so there's a couple of ways I can actually add audio to Office 365 um, PowerPoint. It's not built in as standard to the online version to, to capture audio. Um, but if I have audio that I've already captured um, using an, another app on my device, I can go up to Insert, Audio, and I'm just going to select a recording that I made earlier. And if I play that, a soldier's helmet was called a Galea. So I've added um, a voiceover to go with that slide. So I, that's one way that I can add audio. Um, many different ways that you can record and capture um, audio for your device. Um, another way that I can also do this is if I um, open it in the desktop app. Now opening it up in the desktop app will depend on, on the device that you're using. So I'm using a Windows laptop at the moment and I have Office um, 365 um, installed on that. So I'm able to open it up in my desktop. That will depend on the devices in your school or local authority um, but here I then have the opportunity to record sound straight onto my slides. So now that I'm using the desktop app if I can go up to insert and I go to audio I now have the opportunity to record audio as well. I'm just going to name it and then I can record soldier's helmet was called a gilia. A soldier's helmet was called a gilia. So you could even add that um, as a voiceover for each part of the text. Um, and once I'm finished with this, and because it's in the desktop app, which is linked to my Glow account, um, simply by closing it, it will re-upload any changes to the, the cloud for me up to OneDrive and here are, um, so it's carried over my voiceover and um, from the desktop app. So even though I can't um, record to it online, um, I can still um, have those sounds attached um, when I share it to my learners. And again, learners should be able to access um, in a similar manner depending on the setup of your school and your local authority. Um, or even if they're doing this at home um, as part of the, the learning at home activities. One last way that you can use your voice, slightly different, um, it, it's not going to add your voice or a voice over, so it, it's still going to, um, it's not going to make the text any more accessible, um, but when it comes to creating the text or typing, um, if I just select the text on my, my screen here, and I can use Microsoft Dictate, and I can add text to the screen, um, to this slide, by talking to the computer. 
so it makes the, the writing more accessible, um, but unfortunately not the, the reading any more accessible, but that may be a tool that you want to explore for yourself or with your learners. <coughs> So that's a few ways that you can um, use audio to make your text, um, your slides a wee bit more engaging or accessible for your learners. And if I look at my finished PowerPoint, a soldier's helmet was called a galea. The shield. I can listen. A soldier's helmet was called a galea. I can listen to those bits of audio that I've added to my PowerPoint. So really, really effective for engaging and for making learning more accessible. I hope that's been useful for you. If you're already doing that um, or, or you've tried it out after watching this video, do get in touch with us at Scott and let us know how you're using audio recordings as part of your PowerPoint to make learning more engaging or more accessible for your learners or if you're using it for assessment purposes that learners are telling you what they've learned and you're assessing that C element um, of the learning. Again, get in touch at DigiLearnScott and um, we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.